All right, day three, I guess. Uh, here's the ignition coil that uh, was up here by that bad wiring. And so I don't know if something happened, if it arced or, or whatever, I don't know. But basically the end of it, when I was just trying to inspect it, just totally busted off. And so uh, when you look at it too, I, I didn't even have to pull this for this to happen. It was already like this. So uh, when I went to go look at it, it was like, holy shit, what the hell happened here? So, um, you know, I don't know if this damage that's on here is actually causing a problem or not, but I went to Mercedes Chandler, got a new replacement part. So just gonna swap this over to see if that helps. It probably should get changed anyways. So uh, I'll get that changed over. I think you just put some grease in there, swap over the bottom part. And uh, yeah, I have the aftermarket. Um, spark plug cables I guess I was looking up the actual part numbers and you have to get a piece that you put on there crimp it and you get the wire by the by the meter so I didn't feel like doing that I just want to get this thing back on the road so uh, I got a quote on the wiring harness so if this is bad and has to get replaced then that's going to be um it could cost as much as 1400 for the piece uh we'll, we'll see uh there's supposed to be, maybe I have to take the battery out to see, but there's supposed to be a uh, label under mm -hmm. here. And if it was replaced, it would say by Delphi. But already, I think it probably wasn't just for well, obvious reasons, but also there, there's the, the ETA. And I think that is the old one, which that probably has old and cracking wires in it too. Uh, just from what I've seen other people go through when they replace this, they usually just get a rebuilt one for 800 bucks or whatever and swap it out uh so it's very possible that that's got bad wiring in it but i haven't touched it and then obviously up here and so i don't know how how the wiring harness goes together what all is impacted by it you know if that, is that an easy thing to, to swap out if i had it so we'll see i'm gonna just try resetting these you know and i'm just following this right so just following the alignment that's on there and uh when i did car started but one of the cylinders definitely was not firing and so my guess was that it was probably number six <laughs> let's see how it goes okay get everything rewired so over here i just doubled up on the electrical tape just made sure that, that you know this is definitely not the right fix obviously but uh, I just want to see if, if the car will uh, get the spark, if it will uh, look okay. And then at least that way I know I need to do something. Um, yeah, I still didn't look over here. Uh, since it's pretty easy to pull the battery up, I'll probably just do that. Uh, but I, I want to try this first, uh, just to see. All back together. So let's see what happens. Haven't tried it yet. Yeah, that's not good. All right, battery tray out. And so here's what I think I'm looking for. This is the best guess at where I could, would think it would be. And, uh, Unfortunately, it's upside down, and this looks probably really fragile. Uh, I'll just have to take it off and see. Take off this one, too. Uh, maybe it's this side have writing. Okay. figured it out I think so here this is the build date for the car it's November 1992 and then over here I've pieced together the thing very carefully 
and it's hard to see, but it's 6, 11, 92. So that was the sticker that I ripped off and you know, you can see I ripped it right on the date, of course. But anyways, uh, so November 6th, 1992. That's when that uh, wiring harness is from. I'm guessing this is part of it here. I have to see what the whole, what the whole cable involves, like how many cables is it? I, I, I really don't know. I'm sure there's plenty of info on Ben's world.